Welcome back to RFT. Today, we're breaking down Alabama's gun laws. Stay to the end for an interesting bit of information for you carriers out there. Chapter 1, Open Carry in Alabama. Let's start with open carry. In Alabama, if you're over 18 and legally allowed to own a gun, you can openly carry it without a permit. However, places like schools, government buildings, and businesses with no gun signs do not allow firearms. Always be aware of these rules, and remember that certain private businesses can enforce their own no-gun policies. Another thing many people don't realize is that Alabama does not require gun owners to register their firearms, offering more privacy and freedom for lawful gun owners. However, always stay informed on local ordinances and regulations. While open carry is legal, it's not always the best choice in every situation. Some local ordinances or social settings might not be appropriate for open carry, and discretion is always key. Chapter 2. Now let's talk about permitless carry, also known as constitutional carry. Since January 1st, 2023, Alabama allows you to carry a concealed firearm without a permit. This is great for people who don't want the hassle of paperwork or the government knowing what they're doing. However, if you travel outside Alabama, you'll still need a concealed carry permit to carry your firearm in states that require one. This is because not all states recognize Alabama's permitless carry. Chapter 3. Concealed Carry Permits, Process and Reciprocity Even though you don't need a permit to carry within Alabama, many people still get one for travel. To get a permit, you'll need to apply through your county sheriff's office, either online or in person. The permits are valid for one to five years, or you can opt for a lifetime option. The cost breakdown is simple. A one-year permit costs $20, a five-year permit is $100, and a lifetime permit will cost $300 for anyone under 60 and $150 for those over 60. You must be at least 19 years old, and the sheriff has 30 days to approve or deny the application. This means even minor legal infractions or mental health issues could delay or disqualify an application. Alabama has reciprocity agreements with many states, meaning your permit will be valid in those states. But remember, when traveling to another state, always check their local laws. Just because Alabama recognizes your permit doesn't mean every state will. Chapter 4. Restrictions on where you can carry. Even with open carry and permitless carry, there are still places where firearms are prohibited. These include schools, courthouses, police stations, and businesses that have posted signs prohibiting firearms. Violation of these rules can lead to serious penalties, including fines and imprisonment. Always double check the local regulations, especially when entering a restricted area. Our tip, don't carry in places with metal detectors. One place people might not realize they can legally carry a firearm is public parks. Alabama generally allows firearms in public parks unless there is a specific local ordinance prohibiting them. However, it's always a good idea to check the rules of the specific park you're visiting before carrying. Chapter 5, Alabama Firearm Safety Tips. Finally, let's talk about safety. While Alabama doesn't require gun owners to take a safety course, we strongly recommend doing so. Safe handling and proper storage are the keys to responsible gun ownership. Remember to always keep your firearm holstered unless you're in immediate danger and make sure it's secured when not in use. I know we said we would give you one interesting fact, but we wanna provide you with more value. So here are a few. Fact one, firearm reciprocity with over 30 states. Alabama concealed carry permits are recognized in over 30 states, giving Alabama residents broad travel flexibility. However, it's always important to check individual state laws, as rules may differ in each one. Fact 2. Did you know Alabama does not require gun owners to register their firearms? This makes it one of the more lenient states when it comes to firearm ownership and privacy protections for gun owners. And fact number 3. Alabama's Castle Doctrine not only applies to your home, but also extends to your vehicle. You have the legal right to defend yourself with deadly force in your car without a duty to retreat, similar to how the law treats home defense situations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and check out our concealed carry clothes. Comment below, what do you think of Alabama gun laws?